Hello, and welcome back to Quantum Conundrum, the only game where you can solve complex science equations and talk to retarded cats at the same time. So, let's get back into it. Loading our dimensions. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And I guess we're starting here. Uh, needle in a haystack. So, we've got a bunch of lasers. What are these blue? Nope. That if you disrupt the blue beam, it should deactivate something. Okay, so I don't think the blue lasers are dangerous? No. Okay. So the red ones are bad, the blue ones are just existing. So if we take this off. Okay, so it's a power source essentially. Um, let's put this right here and see what happens. Alright. So we can get this battery. Thank you, Ike. You're a swell person. Throw that into a wall. Oh, almost missed again. Ugh. All right, so now we've got. F no, what do we? I'm not entirely sure how many BPDs oh, of radiation. How did I miss the button? Hope you're not looking to have children later. All right, heavy battery. And a bunch of safes and boxes. Okay. Just take this and be on my way. Put this in there. Now I think... Yeah, we need to plug this one. To turn that off. Alright, so... What we're gonna do is we're gonna... We're gonna use these guys. We're gonna... Take one of these saves. And we're just gonna put it right... Here. I think I need a small... Okay, yeah, I understand how this works. We get a small box, right? Instead of a... Uh, here. We'll do this. See, if I get another safe, then the other one just comes back at me, so I can't do that. So what I'm going to do instead is put this down here. And then get one of these boxes and put it on top. And switch to heavy, and it should all stay. Good. And uh, switch back. All right, kill. So, don't tell Ike. That Hello, Ike. Really unnerves me. He looks like he has the head of a bat <laughs> on a teddy bear with eyes that sear my soul. It looks like him though. I keep wanting to take it oh. down, but he won't let me. Calm down, buddy. Oh, all right. See you later, Ike. <laughs> so he eats the balloon in fluffy, and the balloon eats him in heavy. I guess that's how that goes. Mansfield Pulsar. All right. Oh, this place is truly fascinating. So this that is the next level. With the fact that I have no clue how I was transported here is certainly puzzling. It's mostly dark. Well, maybe not dark. Sort of twilight. Is it dusk? So, a queen reference? Alright, Desmond, uh... I'm fairly certain Desmond... Desmond can set up here and... Mm, Alright, Dolly, what do you have for me? Okay, alright, um, yeah. So what we need to do is, uh, right now the back door is open and the front door is not, so, and if we deactivate this then it switches. So basically what we need to do is we need to wait till it shoots it, put it right in the middle. Oh, well, put it right in the middle, there we are, and through, and then it'll kill it and well, yeah, excellent. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Alright, what is... Hello, Dolly. Is this just a... I think this is just a staircase type thing. 
So we're just gonna get all those over there. And then we can just... Like we did before in that other puzzle, I don't remember what it's called. Sorry about that. We don't even need four. I'll take one with me just in case. Oh. This could prove to be a problem. We'll jump sideways. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Ah, oh, I do need one. Alright, so we'll... Oh, we can just throw it up. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That's a babe reference, by the way. Damn it! Damn it! Okay. Oh. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I hit it with my head the other time. I didn't even notice. Thank you, Dolly. I guess this is a portrait of me because that's my luggage. So I turn into a cat and kiss. All right. So we've got an awkward noise generator. Uh, I think so. What we can do is we can take this, use it as a shield, and run out, and then excellent. Oh, I'm gonna use the couch next time. It seems a lot sturdier. Especially if it's facing me like this. Nope, no, no, no. Forgot the, uh, forgot the battery. Toss that in there. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. No, no. <sighs> All right, one more time. That's a pretty good catch, huh? Alright. I just need to stay behind the couch. That's the problem I'm having. And what is this guy? Another groany dude? I can't hear the sound he's making. It looks so cozy over there. Oh no! Run, run, run! <laughs> Whoops! I made it there, so it's all fine. I find the number three to be a very satisfying number. Alright, so we've got... It's a number, and the proper amount of scoops on an ice cream cone. <laughs> uh, alright. Alright, so... I guess that the challenge here is... If we... So you can put it down here if you like. I'm assuming this turns off these guys. Yeah. So. But then if you switch to anything else, it'll just. explode. What if we just stack it out from the wall? Like, go here? And then. I think this will work, actually. Looks promising. <laughs> Alright. Good. And we've got a phallus coming out of the wall. Well, I could have done it better myself. Not bad. Is there another way to do that with heavy? I don't think so, actually. It's really strange. Alright, next level, please. Alright, I'm gonna lose my dimensions because it's not fluffy in here. That's weak. You may remember some of my past inventions from previous trips. I remember this from the Hall of Wonders. This is my ice gun, Freezy Ray Vaughn. <laughs> I have a feeling that's a reference to something, but I don't know what it is. And I don't know if I should feel bad about that. I... Oh, I really wish I wouldn't do that. You... You're writing Desmond, okay. I'm sure you'll make cute children. 
don't quite understand what the point of that was. But. This is a compression platform which uses photoelectric energy to function. Do we actually need like that? Spring, the energy pulses below the platform oh, can't even get the it. molecules in the air, stimulating an elastic structural rigidity. All right, so this is a spring. I hear uh, noises. I think that's an awkward noise generator, maybe. Careful. Oh. I'm careful. Oh, maybe that's what's up here? So if we put that there and jump on it. Jump on it. I don't think we can jump on it. And then make it heavy and then... Oh, okay. Alright, that gets us this. Ah, there he is. Alright. It sounds like quadrangle. Oh. Oh, right. Since we say the same, we can't actually write that up, so we need to find a safe. I guess. Have I mentioned that this is my house? And that I, I don't know, live in your parents teach you any manners? How does that work? Why would I care about opening this door? <laughs> Alright. So put it here. And switch it to Fluffy. I was wondering where I put that. Yep. I'm awesome. Alright, so. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, so. Okay. Here we go. We need this guy. And then we can break through the glass. Alright, that makes more sense. <laughs> Two for one! Alright, safe. And what do we. Oh. It's. Oh, it just automatically did it. Alright, so we just. I'm scared, guys. Oh, that's actually really pleasant. Whoop. Is there anything up here? The effect of radiation on things. So that looks like a young quadrangle with a a three-eyed dog that turns into a three-eyed fluff ball into a three-eyed demon. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a cool, one, I guess. Oh. Like, it looks like he's going to the bathroom? Or what is that? I hope that's... Maybe... Oh no, it looks like drool, actually. Yeah. Alright. My mistake. For some reason they make a... I think there's a lot of pee in this game. Derp! Now I see... A giant pee. Widget the first, Feel widget the second, and derp! How are you? I missed you. Mwah. <laughs> It's always a reassuring sight to see derp. Mind the gap. Alright. I feel like we're gonna do a bit of flying in this one. Alright, so I'm assuming we take this guy and put it on this dude. Just remember, you need enough change in the mass to build up enough mechanical energy. Yeah, so you need you need to go to heavy and then fluffy for it to actually do anything. Uh, what's this? Safe on a conveyor belt. And... All right, so heavy, light. Oh, think of this highly complex piece of technology as a oh, trampoline. All right, so we need to. Double bounce. Oh, wait, I'm not sure how that works. Uh, but what I think you need to do is, yeah, if we do it from here, and then you switch to heavy, and then back to fluffy, heavy, fluffy, there we are. Aha! Uh -huh. It's time to spring into action. I think I just heard a whistle. I propped myself up. As an awkward noise generator. Here. Oh! No! 
Yeah, I can definitely hear something. Alright. Let's try this one more time. Oh. Oh. No, I didn't quite get it. Alright. Let me have it. I really need that to fly across? Man, this one's complicated. Where's that whistling? Oh. Alright, we need to position ourselves just right. Aren't you yep. supposed to whistle while you work? And grin and whatnot? Yeah. So I guess that automatically just snaps there, which is nice, because I don't want it falling off. Yeah, okay. Um, now let's... Alright, so I think I need to do this with some relative quickness, otherwise we're gonna get some lasers thrown into our plan, so to speak. Satisfying, isn't it? So we're gonna... Nope. We're gonna take that guy. Oh, that wasn't as fast as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Alright. Ta-da! I don't like those guys. There. Knowledge is power. I'm beating you up with a book. Yeah. How you like it? Arr. Oh, wait. <laughs> You don't care. All right. This is one of my past inventions, Joan the Jetpack. Worked Joan just the jet fine, pack. except I had some serious trouble with the hover-up feature. Somewhat flammable. Some might say incendiary. Why do you name all your inventions? You probably never saw this invention. It was like, my hole digger. Personify them. We called it Every Day I'm Shoveling. <laughs> and by we, I mean Ike. It was a little too efficient. This was the first and last Every time day. I saw it. Ike understands that song? Every day... Alright, well, he didn't personify that one, but I think that was a, for the sake of a pun. Good night. <laughs> These books are funny. The Call of the Wild Binomial. Alright. I'm just gonna look at one more. What's this one? Alright, now this one. The original. <laughs> uh. All right. One can never be too safe. Pun, pun, pun. So what's going on? Oh, I've got heavy. All right, so I can just toss this in here, and then. Oh, but then it's gonna. Yeah. Whoops. All right. One more time. One more time, Dolly. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we've got to toss this one, sort of like that. I was quite All right. the champion at shop foot during my years in college on the track and field. I can't see you doing track and field. Oh God, damn it! All right, we'll use you instead. <laughs> All right. Now we're cooking. Oh, it's nice juice turns orange. The electromagnetic microreactors, or electrobats if you're so inclined, will all require a conductive polycell. Uh, Alright, electrobats. We'll get to electrobats on the next episode, because it's been almost 20 minutes. So, um, you know, if you liked it, subscribe, like, comment, you know, the same stuff I always say at the end of this, and I'll see you tomorrow for part four? Part four? Yeah. See ya.